In the late spring of 1911, six brothers geared up to start up a new business. These brothers have a dream together. And eight years later, in 1919, their first engine became reality. But unfortunately, 75cc bike failed to give a result. But again in 1921, Velo Motor, a 98cc two-stroke engine, produced a two models, Touring and Sports. And talking about today, Benelli believe in the quality and performance with all kind of high displacement motorcycle. If you really hate to compromise, guys, then you will definitely love Benelli. Okay, let's hear it sound. The sound is a lot. Amazing man. So things you should know before buying this motorbike, it can go up to 170 km per hour, its fuel capacity is 14 liters, I must say the less, it is less than the TNT 300. As being a 300cc fully fair motorbike, it will definitely make a hole in your pocket guys, with the price tagline of 7 lakh 20,000 rupees. You'll get 3 sets that will be white, red, black, red and the green silver i personally like the green silver it looks really good so the six speed gearbox provide a great performance with the weight clutch so the benelli tornado 302r uses the same engine as the tnd 300 the 300 cc two cylinder motor on the machine produce a max of 35.5 bhp at 10,000 rpm and 27.4 nm of torque at 9,000 rpm So the engine comes uh, mated with the 6-speed gearbox, the engine to the motorcycle is a tired and tested unit ending the chances of it being a rough driving at the low at performance. So it comes with a nice ground clearance of 160mm. As per the company has been concerned, there were the emerging segment of two cylinder 300cc motorbikes and their rivals must be Yamaha R3, Wongsung GT300R and Kawasaki Ninja 300. And I will definitely say RC390 is also a biggest competitor for the Benelli. Sharing my personal experience guys, the bike was uh, quite uh, comfortable to ride, a seating a seat was very comfortable as the Benelli have provided a great seat from the very beginning, uh, seat were good, uh, the foot posture and the riding posture, I must say it was uh, too sporty, um, but uh, after a kind of uh, a long kind of a ride, it will definitely give you some kind of pain in your fore forearms, uh, it can give some kind of pain in your forearms, but uh, uh, you have to shift a little bit back if you want to ride for a long time um, that will not make any kind of pressure within your hands 
so i think this bike have a good power um, it was a great experience to ride a uh, straight road um, It have a maximum power, but uh, according to my uh, experience and preference, uh, this is the second version of TNT 300. Uh, it's just a fully fade. Uh, almost everything is similar within the bike, but uh, fuel capacity will definitely get disappointed. Uh, I think it's more less than the TNT 300. It's only 14 liter, uh, but the overall the bike looks great. Uh, many people are also saying. Uh, this bike also look like a Pulsar 220. Uh, it's it's completely a different kind of bike. It's, it has more power. Um, it have a history behind it. I think this bike was good. And overall, the on the bike is great. I also mentioned that the price tag line is some like twenty thousand in the police market. So guys, thanks for watching and. Uh, well, this was the end of the Benelli Pro Nitro 302 R review. So guys, if you have uh, any confusion regarding this bike, do let me know in the comment section below. And yes, do not forget to subscribe and ride safe guys, follow rules and cheers. Mm -hmm.